Ava Solberger. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. We are here at the Shelburne Museum in Shelburne, Vermont. We are in the Round Barn for their exhibit, Got eBay. Shelburne Museum gave $1,000 to eight different celebrities, and they each curated their own show using eBay. What did they buy? What would you buy? What's the last thing you bought on eBay? And more importantly, what would Electra Havemeyer Webb think about this whole fuss? Would she be eBaying right now? Let's go find out. Gosh, you know, what would Electra do? What would she do? And we thought, well, she'd be on eBay. And then he was like, how do you get eBay? How do you capture the power and the spirit of eBay? Let's ask people to put together collections. And for us, that's really big because it's giving up curatorial control. Got eBay Celebrity Collections Created Online is the name of this new exhibit. We give $1,000 each to a group of eight people, sort of a mix of uh, local and national celebrities and also some, some art world figures. They use that money to build any kind of collection they want on eBay. And then once a key person got on board, everybody else fell into place really quickly. Because everybody wants to be associated with Jerry Seinfeld. Wish I had an older man, he'd treat me right. Said I got a young hell dog, keeps me up at night. Woman's work is never done. How do you spoon a nun? Save it away in the kitchen all day and he won't grab the dog. What's interesting also to me is how little things change. Oh gosh, now, there's a great example of bad hair. <laughs> when people hear about eBay, a lot of them say, I don't even, I've never used eBay before and I don't know what eBay, so eBay is. So you go through and you tell them and then the light bulb goes on thinking about each individual person picking out what they like. Seinfeld has a very, very focused interest in which is the Porsche car. John Lurie, who's a well-known musician, but also kind of an alternative actor, is that fair to say, Sam? Yeah. He did something that was kind of uh, risky and kind of put a new twist on the whole eBay thing. He took two of his watercolors, he put them up on eBay for sale, and then bought them for 500 bucks each, right? So in some ways, he's created his own market. The yeah. thing is, as we sell them at the end of this exhibition, right? Everything here gets sold, so anybody can buy this on eBay. The question is, how much will his things be worth? Bianca Jagger, who's kind of one of the great icons of the, you know, how would you say, icons of the 60s and 70s. And then, of course, she included herself on the cover of Vogue, uh, which I think is also um, that idea of self-presenting yourself and promoting yourself is kind of American. I think she does put her finger on something. It's her take on America. And who would think we have a reproduction of Andy Warhol in the Shelburne Museum? <laughs> There's in it that initial addiction when you first discover eBay. You just spend hours and hours. For curators and collectors, it's just irresistible. It's interesting to see the different age groups of people come here. Because we have school kids come through, um, my age and older or whatever. A lot of them have been on eBay, then a lot haven't. So it's a mix. Secretly, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I've never done eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking! Well, the last thing I personally bought, I've never bought anything on eBay. Uh -huh. <laughs> A 19th century American landscape okay. photograph. Okay. It's really neat, but I don't think I'm gonna get into it. <laughs> it's really changed how we consume and how we collect. And I like to think that our founder of the Museum Electra Havemeyer Webb would have purchased on eBay. I mean, she was buying things like quilts and trivets and kind of things that are kind of Americana or folk art or fine art. I think Mrs. Webb would have liked it. I know she would have. She bought about 120,000 things in her life, so um, it would have been perfect for her. So, I, you know, you could say you can take this lamp of yours and put it on eBay and sell it, and who knows, maybe one of these people bought it and it's going to be at Shelburne Museum. It's Shelburne Museum is a lot about collecting. What Electra Havemeyer Webb did 60 years ago, it's key to make sure that people understand that they can do it too. That's what resonates with people. So that collecting the old and the new, what our history is and what the future is. I think, I think it's time America started moving again. I think everybody's got to reinvent themselves and reinvent themselves that's consistent with their own history. That's the key. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another episode of Stuck in Vermont. We'll get stuck in Vermont with you again. Being stuck in Vermont is great. <laughs> I want to be, I am stuck in Vermont, thank God, right? Oh, we got lots of them. Yeah. Let's do it. Woodchucks like barns. We got a lot of barns. We live at one with the woodchucks. <laughs> okay. Well, there's woodchucks and chickmunks. Did you see the little guy? It's Wait, a chickmunk. <laughs> a woodchuck is this big. I know, it was it a, a chickmunk. <laughs>